Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to create databases, schemas and tables inside PostgreSQL server using PG admin version 4. I have installed PostgreSQL server 15 and I have installed PG admin 4. So we are having latest versions of PostgreSQL server and PG admin. First unlock saved passwords. Please enter your master password. This is required to unlock saved passwords and reconnect to the database servers. Let me type my password. Please remember that this password is created when you install PostgreSQL setup in your system using PostgreSQL wizard. Click OK. You have to enter the same password. Servers PostgreSQL 15 databases. We can see default database Postgres. Instead of that, we can create new database. Right click databases, create database. Let us give the name Tech Nursery. Save button. Now we have created Post, uh, Postgres uh, SQL database Tech Nursery. So we have two databases now Postgres and Tech Nursery. Postgres is default database and Technesary we created now. Now let us uh, expand Technesary and look at here schemas there. By default there is public schema there. Let us create new schema. Right click schemas, create schema. Let us give the name Tech1. Save button. We created schema Tech1. Let us expand Tech1 again. Let us check whether any tables is there. No. So let us right click create table. Let us give the name user owner postgres schema tech1 columns let us add click plus button name is id data type is let us give int integer then press uh, another row give the name we can give character view let us save it now we created user table inside tech1 schema of technesary database now let us expand user table Columns are there, ID and name. Right click, let us check all the options. Delete drop option is there, scripts option is there, create scripted, select scripted, insert scripted, update scripted, delete scripted. Let us select insert scripted. Insert into user ID name here. We can give the value 1 and name should be something Mary. Let us click here to execute. Hurry, return successfully in 81 milliseconds. Let us check it by right clicking scripts, select the script. Select this ID command name from tech one dot user. Let us execute the query. We can see our ID1 name Mary. Let us right click user table again, scripts. Let us update script. Here let us give set ID instead of set ID is equal to something. Let us remove that one and let us give the name. Let us change Mary to John where condition we can give ID is equal to one semicolon. Let us run the command. We successfully run. Let us right click user, scripts, select query again. Let us execute the select command. Yes, now id1 name is equal to John. Now let us right click scripts, delete script. Delete from tech. Dot user where 
let us delete the id one column id is equal to one let us execute successfully deleted let us try again right click scripts select query again let us run the command there is no row existing in the user that table because we delete already let us try another create script let us click the create script here we can create new table by default it is giving user table script we can edit and use it use it for new tables now let us try to delete or drop the table click here are you sure you want to drop the table user yes i think we cannot do it now because we have opened all the queries window that's why i think it cannot be deleted let us refresh Yes, it is deleted already. It's deleted. Fine. Even though this query window is already open, we could delete it by using this uh, drop delete option by right clicking the particular table. So let us delete the schema also. Delete drop. Click yes. We deleted. Let us delete the, uh, the database also. Delete and drop. Yes. Let us read. Database technicians technicians being accessed by other users. Detail try a. There are seven other sessions using the database. Okay, this this is what I told you before. Let us uh, close one by one. Me close this one. Close this one. Don't save. Close this one. Don't save. Close this one. Don't select. Save. Save. Save, close this one, don't save, close this one, don't save. Let us right click technically, delete drop, yes. Let us refresh. There are other four sections. Anyway, we, you can delete it by uh, uh, closing and opening again by using this option. We can delete and drop the database also. Maybe some other connection is there, I think. Let me close this one. Let me close this one. Close this one. Close this one. Let me try to delete technically again. Delete drop. Yeah. Still going error, but when you close this, uh, BG admin and open it again. You can uh, the car existing connection will be disconnected automatically, so you can easily delete this database technically by right click and use this option. Thank you.